Hi, my name is Daniel Williams, and in this video, I want to show you how to move an object based on player touch. In the previous video, I showed you how to add an image to the game and how to move that image using Transition.2. So in this video, I will show you how to move an object based on player touch. For example, if we look at our simulator here, if I click in the top left corner, I want to move the player from here to the top left corner where the player touched the screen at. So let's go back to main.lua and let's take out transition.2 because we will not need that anymore. The first thing that we need to do for touch listeners is to add the function called onTouch. We'll put local function onTouch and close the function up with an end statement. After declaring our function, we need to add an event listener to our game. We'll put runtime add event listener and then we'll pass a few parameters to this function. We'll put touch, and then the name of the function, onTouch. Runtime event listeners run constantly within our game. So this in particular is listening for any touch event that happens within our game, and when the screen is touched, the function onTouch will be called. So now let's go back to our function onTouch and add a few things. The first thing that we need to add is the variable event, as the parameter for onTouch. Event holds a lot of information, but I'm not gonna go too in depth into that because we only care about one thing. We care about what phase the event is. When you are working with events in current SDK, you have different phases for touch events. For example, whenever the player touches the screen for the first time, that phase is known as the began phase. When the player moves their finger while on the screen, that's the moved phase. If the player removes their finger from the screen, that is known as the ended phase or canceled phase. For this game and for this tutorial, we are concerned with the ended phase, then that's when the player removes their finger from the screen. So inside the function onTouch, we need to add a if then statement that will check for what phase the touch event is in. So we'll put if event dot phase equals ended because again we're looking for the ended phase then do something and then we'll close our if then statement with an end statement right here if the event is in the ended phase let's go ahead and move our player let's put my player dot x equals event dot x and event dot x will be the x location of the player touch and let's move the y location for our player we'll put my player dot y equals event dot y. Now if we hit save and go to our simulator and now if we tap on a location on the screen and let's tap the bottom right location our player will move to the location of the tap and if we tap around the screen you will see that the player moves around the screen. However if you notice as I'm tapping around the screen you'll see that the player just instantly moves there like he's teleporting. That might be good for some games, but for our game, let's use transition.2 to gradually move that player over to that location. So going back to main.lua, let's delete these two lines of code and put transition.2. Now within transition.2, let's put the object, my player, and then we'll define a table. Within this table, we'll put x equals event dot x and y equals event dot y. Now, if we hit save, go back to our simulator, and we tap on a location on the screen, you will see the player gradually moves to that location. This makes it for a smoother gameplay, and it gives the player some kind of idea of where they are tapping to. And no matter where you tap on the screen, that player will go to that location. And that's it for moving objects on the screen using current SDK. Thank you so much for watching.